Hey guys, let's talk dry shampoo. Moroccan Oil has two different dry shampoos. We have a light shampoo and a dark tone dry shampoo. And it's almost obvious, but I'm gonna go over it anyways. Light tones is for a light colored hair and dark is for dark colored hair. And the reason why there's two is that the light is gonna come out with a little bit of a violet cast to it, and that is gonna help neutralize any brassiness, yellow tones in the blonde hair. And then for the dark tones, is gonna have a natural finish, so it's gonna be more beneficial for the browns, the darker brunettes, or even black hair. Um, so that is where the two different tones are. So for dry shampoo, it is instantly gonna absorb any extra oil onto the scalp. So it's perfect for your hair on day three or four or maybe five. I wouldn't get in the habit of doing this every single day. You would wanna do it maybe the day one or two prior to your next washing. So you don't wanna create a buildup into the hair. So you don't wanna be using dry shampoo too much, but you definitely need to be using it so you can train your hair to not wash quite as frequently. So the happy spot is probably between two to three times a week and that would be a lot. So stick with the two days a week if you can. And if you're not, dry shampoo would be the perfect product to start training your hair to not shampoo your hair as often. If you have any further questions about that, email me or follow up on some of the other videos and I will guide you through train, how to train your hair to not shampoo as much. So back to the dry shampoo, it's instantly gonna cleanse the hair, it's gonna absorb any extra oil in the hair and it's really just gonna refresh the hair, refresh, refresh the style, get your volume back in, um, from sleeping. Nobody's gonna wake up with beautiful hair in the morning. You're gonna have to fluff with it a little bit. Um, so the trick with the how-to is going to be to shake the can really well. You're, you're obviously spraying this on dry hair. And then you're gonna do about a can distance away and you're gonna flip it up and over and spray at the root area. So you're really focusing on that one to two inches away from the scalp and you're gonna spray it there, and you're only gonna work on the sections that you're gonna see. So if you're doing like a top ponytail or something, you would focus more on the crown. If you're leaving it down and throwing some curls in it, again, it's just this top part. You're not spraying this everywhere section by section, you're just focusing on what people are gonna see. And once you have it sprayed in the hair, you're gonna want it to dry completely. And just like shampoo, you're gonna massage it through really, really well. So that way it can expand and absorb all the oils. And then for maximum results, you're gonna brush your hair through and then style as usual. You could either put some more um, heat protectant on it and flat iron it, curl it, re-blow dry it, whatever you gotta do, or just throw it back up in a ponytail or top knot to get you by another day. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and dry shampoo how to. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me and I look forward to seeing you in the salon.